In this episode, we're making a burger that all the other burgers out there ever made look up to and say, I wish I was that burger. That's right, we're making a smoked Gouda burger with a mango chutney. It is so good. I'll show you how I make it. I start with a third of a pound of burger. Now, lately I've been buying the pre-made burgers just because and I get them for like I don't know, 30 to 50% off, and I mean, that's a deal. All right, let's put them down on the Cuisinart 360. Just take our burger, put it down on the flat top. Now you can use salt, pepper, garlic, whatever you want. I'm gonna use some Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake, but it doesn't really matter what you use. It's whatever you like. And there we go. We're gonna let this cook down, and then we'll take a look at it when it's done. For this burger, I like to give the burger patty about two and a half, three minutes on each side. There we go. Put that back over the top. I got two buns right here. Both have mayo on them. Brown them up a little bit. Buns have been on for about a minute and a half. Yep. Perfect. Time to check our burger out. that char on there? Yeah, heck yeah. I think it's time to put our cheese on. I was lucky enough to find smoked Gouda cheese. Already came pre-sliced. Throw that on. Throw a little water around this. Cap it. And we just let it melt. Now, depending upon how you like your cheese melt, depends upon when you take it off. To me, that's just about right, so I'm gonna take it off. Excellent. Oh, looks awesome. All right, now the best part. Mango chutney. And it's going directly on top of that burger. And you put as much or as little as you want. You don't want it to drown out the flavor, but I'm telling you, with that Gouda and the burger itself, there's gonna be plenty of flavor. Now, for the rest of it is, what do you want on it? Me, I like yellow onion, although it looks white. I'm an onion person. I'll throw in some lettuce, grab a pickle or a tomato. <laughs> grab a pickle. Throw some mayo on one side of the burger. A bun, that is. Spread it around. This, my friends, is the burger that all other burgers look up to and say, man, I wish I was that smoked Gouda burger with the mango chutney. <laughs> yeah, right. This is actually a really good burger. Want to bring you in for a close-up? I think you're gonna like it. This burger just looks perfect. I mean, all around it, just perfect. Smoke Gouda in there with that mango chutney. Heck yeah, sign me up. There you go, what do you think of that burger? I mean, I'm telling you, it's gotta have flavor written all over it, right? So here's the deal. When it comes to burgers, if you're not licking your fingers or it's not just messy, and you ain't got a burger. Mm. Or have some on your face. I'm telling you. There's so many layers to the flavor of this burger. Of course you get the bun. But that burger, whether you would put salt pepper, salt pepper garlic, or Uncle Steve's shake on it or anything else is great. That smoked Gouda, it really works on this burger. It's one of the best cheeses out there for a burger. Mm. And it's messy too, heck yeah. The best part about this burger is when you put that mango chutney on there, it just drives it home. Flavor galore. Everything comes together at that point. Mm.
I bet it goes great with a Patty Joe beer. Oh yeah. Five white Ukrainians out of five white Ukrainians right there. If you make this, tell me how it goes for you because I think it'd be a hit. I really do. All right guys, we'll talk to you. See you on the next episode of the Dude's Kitchen Grill because we're gonna be making another burger as part of our series, the Labor Day weekend coming up. I got another burger that I know you're really gonna like. See you next week.